Yo, it's Lor Shu, and you're watching Three Wands. Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're going to talk about the Emperor map. As you can see, I'm about to demonstrate how to organize what your priorities are in business. So right now, I'm going to break it down from the top to the bottom, starting with the Empire. The Empire is the name of your trust fund or the name of your actual empire. So in this case, the name of my empire or my trust fund is Keys to the Island. Now I want you to keep in mind three things, network, resources, and people. This will be important. So now we have our trustee, which is myself, Lord Shu, which is the emperor of this empire. As we go down the list, you can start to see how we can take this information to break down each individual kingdom here, or in this case, companies, which is in my case, an LLC. I have three LLCs that are in my empire. And in order to run these LLCs, you have to have CEOs who can take the resources that I mentioned earlier and allot them so that you can have a successful running business. So we have our three businesses and our CEO or our king of our cities. So we'll look at our companies as cities in the empire and they all need kings because you're the emperor. You don't run the kingdoms, you run the entire empire. So in this case, We'll just name my brother as the CEO of each of these companies. Now, land, water, people. You need this to create a company or a kingdom. And these are resources. So I'm going to break down how you get the resources. So in order to get resources, you have to have money, right? But in order to get money and start these businesses and create, you have to start somewhere. So I've broken down the, the end part. So now you have a wider picture. So you can take this same method for anything and break it down into steps. So here we have our king, which is King Nimbus or our CEO. And then we have our resources, which is land, water, people. Now, resources vary. It just depends on what exactly you're trying to do. So, resources labeled. And then the next thing is our finances. So, how do we get our finances? Well, that's a process in its own. And it's going to require me to have to get another sheet of paper. <laughs> Let me do that real quick. Now that we have our next sheet of paper, we're going to break down how we get our finances. So we'll start from the land, the water and the people. And I'm going to break it down even more so you know exactly how we're going to get each individual resource and what it's going to take to get those resources. So we're going to start with the land and the water and the people as our resources. Now, like I said before, the resources vary. They're just going to be what they are for whatever specific goal you're trying to complete. But you have to prioritize certain tasks in order to know what's going to be done first so that you can do everything efficiently instead of not having organization. So here we have our land. In order to get land, you have to have money. I mean, that's obvious, right? And in order to get money, you have to have resources. Everybody starts with their own set of resources. Let's say, for example, you want to get into making money, right? You need skills and you're going to have to use what resources you have. So you might have a car, right? Well, if you are attentive and you're organized already, then you can start to, to deliver food in your car. So we have our skill set also works in gaining people. To gain people, 
requires popularity. People only want to work with you if you're cool to them or if you're popular to them or um, they see you as someone as their equal. And in order to build popularity, you have to network, you have to use your skill set, and you have to use your resources properly. So here's where you start. You start with skills. Grow your skills, get better, master them. Take your resources that you have and you take your network. Your network is going to be where you get opportunities. So when you have a network, when your skills are on point, that means you're prepared. And when the right people are in your network, they're going to come to you and say, hey, I got this opportunity for you. And because you've been mastering your skills, you'll be prepared. And then you won't have no problems. You'll be able to execute on whatever it is that your network provides as an opportunity. And it's all pretty simple. Land creates water and people create water because you have people to create irrigation systems for your land to have water. Clean water from a clean water source. They're going to go do that because that's going to require a lot of people and a lot of money. So there you have it, folks. Very simple. Breaks it down. Just always remember resources, skill set. And network will always be the base of how you create anything in your life. So you always want to think about how can I bring the bigger goal, the overall vision down into those three things. And then you build from that. And pretty much you won't have any problems. It will be super simple. So that's it for today's episode. If you made it this far in the video, please leave an emoji telling me if this was informative in a comment. Please like the video if you're a returning subscriber and if you are a new subscriber, subscribe to the channel. Everyone, please share this video with someone you think this will help. It's Laura Shu. Much love to everybody. Holla.